In this video, we're gonna learn a great traditional jig called Sporting Pitchfork, all right? Great tune and also a great tune for working on your long rolls, all right? There's, a, there's an F sharp long roll, there's a G long roll, there's an A long roll, there's a B long roll, uh, and there's also a couple long rolls in the second octave in the second part, all right? There's tons and tons of long rolls, so if, if long rolls is something that you need to work on, there's really not much of a better tune than this one, all right? Um, so, some advice for playing this tune. Make sure when you're playing your long rolls um, that you emphasize the first note of the long roll, okay? You want, you want to go like this. All right, you want da 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 ba da da ba da di da dum. You don't want to go. You really want to emphasize that first um, note of the long roll. Okay. Um, something else kind of fun you can do is you can put a slide on there. All right, you can go. You go rap a da dum pa da dum pa da dum pa dum. Okay, um, putting a little slide on a roll is something really fun, and it's a great thing to do here and there, but you don't want to do it everywhere. Okay, for instance, in this tune, you know, if you put it on maybe two or so um, long rolls, it'll sound great. If you put it on, you know, almost all of the long rolls, it's gonna come across as uh, just cheesy and a little bit too much, all right? Um, it really will take away from the tune rather than add to it, all right? Um, so maybe just put, you know, a, a couple little slides on the long rolls in there just for fun, but definitely don't just start throwing them everywhere, <laughs> okay? It'll sound, it won't sound great. <laughs> um, but when going through this tune, yeah, not only is it, like I said, just a, a fantastic tune to learn because it's a great jig, also very popular in Irish sessions, but it is a great tune to work on your long rolls, all right? And just remember to emphasize that first uh, note of a long roll. Okay? Um, so if you want the sheet music to this tune, uh, you can get that in the description down below. I have the 40 Essential Tim Whistle Tunes uh, ebook. You can um, download it at the, like I said, the description down below. If you're a beginner Tim Whistle player, I also offer a free course which you can get in the description down below. Or if you want to learn this tune, um, where I really dive in and, and take it apart and a whole bunch of other tunes and a, everything from the basic whistle playing to advanced whistle playing, you can get that at my course, which is in the description down below as well. Or if you want to learn this tune one-on-one -on -one with me um, through Skype or something similar, um, we do that as well. Um, and you can do that. There's a, uh, a link in the description down below for that as well. Okay. Um, now, YouTube is a great place to learn a tune. You'll see coming up next, we're gonna have the A part, the B part, and then the full tune that you can practice along with. And because it's YouTube, you can speed the video up or you can slow it down. So if uh, I'm going a little bit too fast and you're just learning how to play this tune, you can slow the video down a bit. If um, you've learned it and you're like, okay, it sounds good, I just I wanna play a little bit quicker, make it a little bit more fun, um, you can also speed the video up um, to make it faster. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Okay. Good luck learning Sporting Pitchfork, a great jig, and I, in my opinion, the best tune to work on your long rolls.